If you hate food waste and want to try and reduce it as much as possible, keep watching. As always, take what is applicable to you and simply leave the rest. And be sure to give this video a like and subscribe if you find it helpful and want to see more. Okay, let's get into it. Use avocado skins and pits to dye your clothes. Yes, really. They actually produce a really beautiful pink color. Make sure to mordant your clothes first and use it on natural fibers like cotton, hemp, or linen. It's unlikely to work on synthetic fibers. Never throw away stale bread. Simply pulse in a food processor into crumbs allowed to dry and store in the freezer for when a recipe calls for breadcrumbs. Don't peel your vegetables. Give them a good scrub instead to remove any dirt. You can also use a vegetable wash if you want to give them a really good clean. If you do peel, consider making crispy potato peels by tossing in oil, salt, pepper, baking in the oven until crispy and topping any salad. Saving your peels from onions, carrots and other veg is a great way to make homemade veggie stock. But let's level it up. Brown the ingredients in a pan with olive oil or butter, whatever you choose. Once browned, add water, salt, dried herbs and the secret ingredient, shiitake mushrooms. Allow to simmer for at least an hour. You can also do this in a pressure cooker or instant pot and allow it to cook for several hours. Broccoli stalks seem to be in contention. Why don't we eat them? Some people literally just dip them in hummus and eat them like a carrot stick, which is awesome. You can add these to your vegetable stock to increase flavor or to your broccoli and cheddar soup, which is going to be blended anyway. Or you can make broccoli fries. The same could be done for any veggie, especially if you're trying to get fussy eaters to eat them. Hang dry your herbs to prevent them from going off. Or keep a pot of fresh herbs. Just remember to keep mint in its own pot, otherwise it will literally take over. Thyme and rosemary are perennials, so you can keep them in a pot outside if you have the space, or plant them in the ground. Store your food correctly so that you're not inadvertently allowing things to go off far quicker than, than they should. Store leftovers in a way that will ensure you'll actually eat them. And if you hate leftovers, try planning out meals and monitor how much you're actually eating so you don't overcook. Or just get a pet and feed them to the dog or worms. This one takes time to learn, so maybe start with less and add more when you need it. If you find that you love having fresh spinach, but it goes off quite quickly, a great way to preserve it and prevent it from going to waste is to blanch it in hot water for 30 to 40 seconds, squeeze out the remaining water and freeze in little clumps. Let's talk lemon peels, or in fact, any citrus peels. First, we head back to the dehydrator or oven and dry these peels out. Next, we add them to a blender and create a beautiful powder. These can be stored as is, or with your savory peels, add lemon powder to salt and create a fragrant addition to any dish. Use aquafaba or the liquid from a can of chickpeas to replace eggs in your desserts. It's super easy to use. I add it to a pot, whisk it with a hand blender because that's all I have, and wait for the white foam to stiffen. This can be folded gently into a mixture to add moisture and a binding element. Aquafaba also has emulsifying, thickening, and even rising properties too. Okay, peaches are in season right now, so let's make some fruit roll-ups with the perfectly ripe and slightly overripe peaches before they go off. I like to use these for any fruit that's going off or will go off before I have a chance to use them. Simply blend and bake. That's literally it. Add some sugar if you want, a little zest if you please, and get creative. If you have a bunch of greens going off, again, dehydrate them, blend them, and make your own super greens powder that can be added to any smoothie. If you're bougie enough to afford vanilla beans, then before you even think about throwing them out, once you've scraped out those beans, make vanilla extract. It's so easy and will probably last you years. Leftover rice. Make incredibly inauthentic arancini. Or of course, you can make a perfect fried rice with any veggies or ingredients that need eating in the fridge. Apple scraps means it's time to make apple cider vinegar. Once you've made it at home, you'll never buy it again. A little red or white wine left over that's not getting drunk anytime soon. Make vinegar. It's surprisingly simple. I'll leave a recipe in the description. Buy fresh produce in smaller quantities or frozen alternatives. Freeze overripe fruits for later use in smoothies or baking. Compost food scraps to reduce landfill waste. 
There are so many options in terms of compost now for small apartments, if you have a garden, if you want to have worms or if you want to do a hot compost. I'll place some resources in the description below because this is a really great way to save food waste. Transform brown bananas into banana bread or muffins. Make a hearty soup with leftover roasted vegetables. Keep an eat me first box in the fridge to prioritize perishables. Simply bringing them to the front of the fridge helps you to have eyes on the things that you have and helps to prevent waste. Do a monthly cupboard sweep to ensure you're using all the foods you already have. Lots of foods get forgotten and deserve to be eaten, so don't let it go off. Prep a small notebook of recipes that you genuinely like and find a few alternative ingredients that you can supplement ones for if you don't have all the stuff you need. This helps you use up what you have without buying new and also provides a small little education in what goes together food-wise to prevent weird concoctions that are just simply gross. Never food shop hungry. I've bought so many things not on my list just because I was hungry at the time. And if you have the opportunity, go when the shops are quieter. For some reason, this helps you to make better choices. If you're wasting a lot of food, why not try keeping a food waste journal? I've always found this helpful when I'm ending up with more food waste than I think is normal, and it helps me to confront the issues of where I'm wasting the most and why. Always save your seeds. From things like pumpkins that produce edible seeds, you can either roast them and eat them, or you can save them, propagate, and plant them like we did this year. And lastly, do your best. We can't all do everything, so meeting yourself where you're at is incredibly important. Choose what works for you and leave the rest. And remember, it's not just up to us, but also the supermarkets, our governments, and many more. These hacks, recipes, and tips should help you reduce food waste at home and contribute to a more sustainable lifestyle. Remember, small changes can make a big difference. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing so that you never miss another video.